Hey there, today I have another nutrition grocery haul for you guys. Um, Constance, a subscriber of mine, had recommended it and I've been loving it ever since. So um, I'm not sponsored by Nutrition at all, it's just a, a website that I find good deals at. Most of the time they have better deals than Amazon, although occasionally Amazon has a better deal. Just make sure you price check if you're uh, wanting the best deal. But nutrition, nutrition has a great keto selection. So I like to get new products from there to test in my product review videos that I would be doing later. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and show you what I got in this latest nutrition order. Okay, so I honestly can't believe that this cost me um, over $100, but I know I know exactly why. Um, so these are the Slim Fast Fat Bomb Shots. This is salted caramel cream. I'm hoping to put this in my mocha drinks, the collagen drinks I'm having now. Oh shoot, three carbs. I didn't realize that. Oh, two grams of erythritol. <laughs> um, to one net carb. I'm hoping this doesn't like mess with my ketones at all. It's got MCT oil in it, so that's cool. It doesn't look like it has, oh, oligosaccharides. I think that's supposed to be a, a bad one, but I don't think I've experienced anything bad from it. So I'm hopeful with these ones. Uh, one pack is 100 calories, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm just missing that caramel taste, and I I just haven't been able to find it. So I'm hoping that uh, adding this to my collagen drinks will help. I got uh, in my last nutrition order blueberry nush cakes and I thought they were pretty good. Um, I, I like the texture more than anything, but I wanted to try these raspberry and cream. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like a bready texture. It's not as moist as cake. It is kind of higher on the calorie side. It's got 10 grams of sugar alcohol, so three net carbs for one of these cakes. I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger, but I knew that from uh, the last time I had Nush. So I'm hoping that the ra raspberry and cream was uh, better. And then also because I gave one of the blueberry cakes to my grandma, um, I'm trying to help her uh, lower her sugar intake because she has arthritis real bad. And um, I know she likes cakes and cookies. So she really liked the blueberry one, but um, I asked her if there was a better flavor that she might like, and she loves carrot cake. So I'm hoping that she likes this carrot spice cake. Let me know if you guys have had this, because I'm going to give her this whole box. I'm not going to have any of it, but this is what it looks like. They kind of all look the same, but hopefully they don't taste the same. So yeah, I got that for my grandma. I'm going to give that to her. Okay, then I am still on the hunt for a good uh, protein bar, snack bar kind of thing. Uh, this one's by Keto Connect. It's uh, called Keto Bar. It's chocolate covered strawberries. That's the flavor. Five net carbs. Uh, not bad. 220 calories, 18 grams of fat, 17 total carbs, 7 dietary fiber, 8, no, 5 sugar alcohol. So five net carbs, like, like it said, honest by design, cute. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this is good. It feels pretty hard. So I'm bummed about that, but, uh, that's one I got. I got this keto bar. This feels a little bit softer, three net carbs, uh, peanut butter chocolate. That's the macros on that one, 250 calories, but it feels softer. I've had Stoka Bar before, uh, I've had the birthday cake and the salted caramel. I actually really like the salted caramel, so I think I'm going to order more of those. Um, but I wanted to try this PB and J, Strawberry J to be specific. Five net carbs. I had tested uh, in a product review video the birthday cake Stoka and it uh, increased my ketones. So I definitely want to try and incorporate one of the flavors into my diet because... I hope to get to a point where I have only things in my diet that raise my ketone levels. So still on the hunt for 
a, a protein bar that does that. A lot of them have maltitol and stuff, so I'm trying to get away from that. Still, still, still. Speaking of stuff I'm trying to get away from, uh, I stopped eating those smart sweets after I had tested my ketones on the, I think, Swedish fish and the peach rings. So I saw these. This is from Project 7. These are gummy bears. Uh, six net carbs per bag, so kind of high. I don't know if I'd repurchase these even if they don't mess up my ketones, but one container is 100 calories, one gram of fat, 36 total carbs, 18 dietary fiber. It must have allulose in it because, yeah, there it is, allulose. So it has allulose in it. It does have soluble corn fiber as a first ingredient. I don't know if that's something that I um, have tested previously. I know chicory root fiber was in the Smart Sweets, and that's kind of no good, uh, for me at least. And the rest of it looks pretty legitimate. So, yeah, it's just really the net carbs I'm kind of concerned with, and then that soluble corn fiber potentially. But um, I got two bags of those. I love... Um, gummy candies yeah, and I just I'm I'm not missing it right now but I like to have a fruity gummy candy on hand and since I stopped eating smart sweets I don't have a good option so I got two bags of that hopefully um, those are good I also got a sour one so they have sour flavor too these are also vegan so that's cool I wonder if my sister would like this this is the nutrition on that it looks uh, pretty close to the same, if not exactly the same. Um, oh, so this one only has pectin. It doesn't have uh, gelatin, and that's what makes it vegan. So very hopeful, but um, I'm going to have these in a product review video for sure. Let me know if you guys are really interested in seeing the product review for this one, and I'll bump the testing up for this above other ones. Um, with everything going on right now, I just, I have to prioritize. That's, that's the only way I'm going to get through. This is what really knocked my order up a bit, um, is the Smart Cakes. I got the big box, which I think was like, I don't know, $25 or something. They're, they're ridiculously expensive, but I want to give my grandma one of these to see if she likes it. I'm hoping that she'll like the lemon. Um, she likes cake and this is the best cakey thing that I have had on keto, so... There's a reason why um, they are so expensive and they're low calorie, so I like it for that too. And then I also got this. I've never had this before, but I'm really excited to try it. Um, these are a little bit higher in calorie, but that's okay because I think they're bigger. Let me open it up and see. Oh, they're a bit smashed, but yeah, these are definitely bigger. Wow, we look at that. That's awesome. It's like a real muffin. So I'll have this in product review too. Probably. Or I might have it in what I ate in a day. No, I'll have this in product review just because I've tested the Smart Cakes before, but I want to test these just in case they're different. This is the nutrition on this one. It's also zero carb, which is just like mind-blowing to me. Oat fiber, corn fiber. So these ones might be different. I don't know. Eggs, pumpkin puree, all the things. Doesn't look too bad does use monk fruit, so that's kind of a bummer. Okay guys, that is all I have for you in this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'd like to hear what you think one way or another, but that is all I have for you in this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.